Time for the long distance version of the Moore's Millions stairs now, and we've only really got about four in it. So we'll go on to the other races this week. Uh, three more seven for our 0 120. Captain Mannerin up the top. Ruffle Bar for Graham Clutterbuck. Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, and Drumhall taking for Thomas Rogers. Now, all four will qualify if they get round. So <laughs> let's hope they do get round, otherwise, you're going to have to put up with three miles and seven furlongs of me thinking of something to say. Now, that might be interesting. Because I've got plenty to say about some of the things that need to be done with some of these races. But I'm sure there'll be a little bit of excitement as well. Looks like we're going to have another fly around, of course. One of the race runners is determined to make my time behind the microphone even longer than it needs to be. All the flat to do yet. Anyway, who needs sleep? Sleep is for wimps, Rodney. Anyway, they're ready to go, and off they go. And they're all in the wrong colours again. Well, not all in the wrong colours, mine's in the wrong colours. And if you look at the graphic at the top, Alex Cherry is, is invisible. Well, they're all over the first. And it's Drum Hall taken in the lead. I think that's Thomas Rogers, is pretty sure it is. Then Molly Awesome for Alex Cherry. Captain Manor in for me, running in John Morgan Silks. So we got a bit better than I did in the last race. And Ruffle Bar for Graham Clutterbuck in his old Welsh flag colours. So into the second of 25, we've got 23 more chances of these all falling. I wonder what happened if they all fell. The race just go off. What? Anyway, let's get over to third. And we'll safely over that one. With Drum Hall taken in the lead. Get to the fourth of this ditch. It's probably only Thomas Rogers and Gray watching this because Alex Cherry's got to put the video thing together when I send him the audio, so he'd probably have seen it already. Um, Gray's got access to. Um, Dropbox, so he's probably watched it already as well. So it's probably just you, Thomas, and the only one listening to me. So your horse is in the lead and going okay at the moment. Racing down to the fifth of the 25. And fortunately, they're all safely over that one as well. Perhaps John Morgan might be watching and thinking he's got a horse in it. I can't remember calling one Captain Mannering. I don't know, maybe. Unlikely though, I would think. Anyway, they get over the sixth, and they're all safely over the sixth as well. Drumhall taken in front. Captain Manor in second. Ruffle Bar third. Molly Awesome fourth. Now, if I was Stu, I would probably have looked up before to see whether any of these four have qualified already. And then I'd have a rant about that, about horses running in qualifiers that they don't need to run in. Get to the seventh. And they're all safely over the seventh. I don't think even Stu's going to listen to this because I'm pretty sure he's gone fishing. Anyway, Drumhall taken is in the loop. If you're allowed to go fishing at this time of year, are you allowed to go fishing at this time of year? Oh, I don't know, I don't do fishing. And Drumhall taken is the leader. Ruffle Bar is second. Molly also is third. Captain Manor in fourth. Maybe he said skiing, I don't know. He's gone somewhere. It's Drumhall taken in the lead as they get to the eighth and went right through that. Fortunately, the jockey managed to stay in the plate. We still got four in it. We've only got another two and a half miles to go. Drum all taken. He's in front. I've decided not to uh, give any great speeches about things because, I, like I said before, there's probably only Thomas Rogers watching, and it's not really fair for me to subject him to my ranting. Over the tenth, uh, drum all taken is in the lead. Of course, at the end of this, we'll probably find out that the colours on this one were wrong. It's not even Thomas Rogers' horse. Right. Ruffle Bar in second, Captain Manor in his third, and Molly Awesome is fourth. If they all stay like this and on their feet, they'll all be in the final in a couple of weeks if they want to be. Twelve. 
past the little gingerbread cottages in the background. Come to this ditch. And over it they go, Molly Awesome. Just dropping off at the back a little bit, not quite living up to her name at the moment. And the bottom weight drum hall taken. It's five lengths to the good. There's a still the best part of two miles to go. Drum all taken in the lead. Ruffer bar second on the inside of Captain Mannerin. And Molly Awesome is back in fourth. Over the 14th, and Molly Awesome again. And a pretty desperate leap at it. And somehow the jockey managed to stay on board drum all taken is into the 15th and over that they all go they all drop that one ok perhaps they will realise that if they all get round they've qualified for the final so they won't necessarily bother putting too much pressure on each other I suppose a win is a win Certainly need the wins because Craig Beckwith is catching me very, very quickly for fifth place. It's like the Europa League spot in the Starters Orders world. And the top four are miles ahead of the rest of us. And I've been hanging on to fifth for the last two seasons, but this year I've been strongly challenged by Pat Drake and particularly Craig. I think might even be level with me at the moment. Take the 17th. I certainly had me on money, but like I said, I don't make, I don't do it on money because the only reason is it well, the only reason is ahead of me on money because he won the gold cup, so he would have been ahead of me on money anyway. But taking those American races at the start of the season gives you an almighty boost, which makes the money championship a bit farcical. And they get to the 18th, and over that they go. Drum wall taken is clear. Over the 19th. All still on our feet. And we also get a little bit closer as well. Drum wall taken has been in the lead all the way. Would have been pretty much the same. Ruffle Bar and Captain Manor have been second and third throughout. And Molly Awesome has been at the back, but she's now starting to creep into it. And despite those earlier mistakes, it looks to be going quite well. This is the 20th. And it's Molly Awesome has gone into third, and Molly Awesome now looks to be going the best of the lot. Drum Hall taken is yet to be headed. This is the 21st. And Molly Awesome jumped up into second there. Four more to take. That's the gingerbread cottages again, and down towards the final four, and Drum Hall taken is into this ditch in front. Molly Awesome over it in second. Ruffles Bar third, and Captain Manor in fourth. Drum hall taken. And he's kicking on again in the lead. Oh, Molly Awesome second. And then Ruffle Bar and Captain Mannering. Into the third last. And Drum hall taken was nearly down. Then he nearly went. And he managed to recover. But Molly Awesome has swept into the lead. I wonder what price he'd have got on Molly Awesome. In running after those mistakes earlier on. And now it comes down to the second last. Looking like a couple of good jumps will seal it. And over it they go. Drum will take and was slow. Captain Mannerin and Ruffle by the two top weights are well out of it. And I don't want to challenge the front pair. I don't think. Really awesome. There's just a furlong to go. I want to jump. He's in the lead. Drum will take and he's in second. If they all get over this, they're all in the final. Over it we go. Oh, he's gone! I don't believe it. Drum all taken. Leads all the way. And crashes out at the final fence. I do hope that Thomas Rogers is saying that's already qualified. Otherwise, that's going to be pretty gutting. So, got all the way to the last. And then fall. So, it almost over. Shadowed the end of the race, didn't it? But Molly also wins it and qualifies. Captain Manor in second and qualifies. Ruffles Bar is third and qualifies, and poor old Drum all taken falls at last and doesn't. And there we go. On to the starters' orders qualifiers next, I think. <laughs>